Hey everyone, it's Nella here with Almond with a response to Sarah's prompt. Um, and the prompt was, um, do you have any characters that are either based off of someone you know, uh, family traditions, or reflect your heritage in some way? Um, and Almond's here because her story, her background before she comes um, before she becomes a magician's apprentice, is actually based on, um, or has a lot of elements of, um, my maternal grandmother's childhood, um, because my granny, um, loves telling stories about everything, and when I was trying to figure out Alwyn's character, um, my granny was telling me about how in the depression um, they lived on <laughs> how like she told me about where they lived um, and how they rented a house from the person that actually owned the house but they rented out the individual rooms of the house out to other people essentially so that they could make rent um, she also told me about all the parties, like essentially block parties with alcohol that um, that her parents would do, because her parents were, of course, when they had her, you know, like they were in their twenties, so they were in like their mid twenties with two kids, and apparently everyone, like on the block, all the neighbors, everyone would chip in, and then they'd get a keg of beer. And they'd have these absolutely wild parties. <laughs> um, so some of the elements of that have trickled into Alwyn's story, while other ones, um, such as the partying, that has been more incorporated into Ethel's story. Um, however, Alwyn's personality is not like my granny's. My granny's much more outspoken <laughs> than... Um, than all when here is. Um, so yeah, so I only have Ethel. I only have all when here right now. But Ethel, yeah, also has elements of um, my grandmother's stories, as well as um, just some other stuff from the time period. Um, Say, so, well, I said in a previous video that I did prompt that I made a prompt for, um, that Fleur is based on me, or rather her personality is the closest to mine, she is actually based more on me, um, or at least me when I was in junior high and early high school when I was writing her character. Um, so once again, her background before she finds out she's a Nixie, um, strongly resembles mine, even though she's Quebecois. And I am not. <laughs> um, but actually, the idea of having Fleur be a changeling is actually kind of an inside joke for myself. Um, because my dad loves fantasy, so I grew up with reading a whole bunch of fantasy. And I also grew up with one of my dad's nicknames for me, at least when I was very small, and it continued for a while, was that I was a changeling. Because apparently I looked very, I looked like a little elf when I was a baby. So my dad called me Changeling. And he kept, like he kept doing that for like 10 years. <laughs> um, so that bit, so Fleur being a Changeling is a reference to my dad's nickname for me. And actually, um, Herb Ullman's story just before she becomes Master Magician is that she's very sick and no one knows what's wrong. That's actually from my life. Um, I've had some pretty serious GI problems and problems with migraines and headaches. Um, and we're still not 100% sure what the source of that is. We think it's food sensitivities, not allergies. Um, but I'm still having a lot of problems, so... Yes, the mysterious illness portion that Alwyn had that was her magic developing, um, that's based on me. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I take
for most of my writing, I take bits of pieces of either things I've read or people I've met um, and kind of incorporate whatever interests me. So thanks for the prompt, Sarah. It was a really cool one, and I can't wait to see what other responses are going to be. Bye!